Looking to see tolls in Google Maps or any other map apps? By the end of this video, you will be able to see tolls and fuel amounts on any route from Google Maps. Not only you will be able to see the tolls and fuel amounts for your vehicle, but you will also see other route expenses and optimal route options as well. So let's dive in. How to use JavaScript language to add tolls to Google Maps using Toll API. Let's first get a brief idea about what we are gonna execute here. The first step will be to download the required packages which in this case is request, which is used to make API calls. The second step will be getting the Google API key and TollGuru API key. To get those keys, links are provided in the description. The third step would be to make a request to Google API to fetch Polyline for the route you want. The fourth step is to make a request to Toll API to get all the toll details and fuel costs along the route. Let's look at the following code. On line number 2 we have installed and imported the request package which will be used to make HTTP calls. On line 6 and 7, we have added Google and TollGuru API keys. Line number 13 and 14 are the API endpoints of Google Maps and TollGuru respectively. Now let's look at the Google Maps endpoint. But first, don't forget to add the source, destination, and Google Maps key. Using this URL, we will make a GET request at the Google Maps endpoint and then we will extract the polyline from the response. Let's have a look how the polyline looks like. This right here is the polyline for the route we defined with source and destination. After we get the polyline, we will make a request to the TollGuru endpoint. To know more about how to construct the request body, let's look at the TollGuru API docs. We are going to use the root polyline API. These are the parameters, source, where you can define the source of the polyline. Since TollGuru supports many mapping services, you can easily pick yours from here. Since here we are using Google, we will choose it for source. Polyline will have the polyline that we fetched by using the code we talked about previously. Path can be used as an alternative when there is no polyline defined. In such cases, we can provide a set of comma-separated latitude and longitude coordinates. Vehicle type will have the particular vehicle that will be used for the route. Click on here and you will find a list of all the vehicles that are supported by TollGuru for a particular region. For example, these are the supported vehicles for the North American region. Departure time should be specified as a string or an Unix timestamp. This will be critical when you want to know about time-specific tolls between the routes. Now, let's get back to our code and make a request. This code will help us to do that. Once we make the request, this is the kind of response that we will get. Let's switch back to API references and understand the structure of the response. The response will have majorly two sections, summary and route. The summary will have status, which defines if the request was a success or not. Rates, that will have the currency exchanges with respect to USD. Departure time, that has been provided. If not, then this parameter will automatically take the current time while requesting. The route will have has tolls, that is a boolean which defines if the route has tolls or not. Costs, that will define value for fuel, tag, prepaid, cash and so on. Tolls, that is an array object which will have all the tolls that you have hit on the route along with detailed information about their toll costs and payment methods, names, discounts and much more. This is just the tip of the iceberg that you see here. To further go into the depths, you can use few other resources to get the full potential out of it. First is the TollGuru Toll Calculator, which is basically the graphical representation of what we just did inside JavaScript. Second is the TollGuru API references where we have the documentation of all the APIs that TollGuru provides, including the one we use today. And the third is the example codes hosted in GitHub, where you will find all the repositories which will have sample codes for TollGuru API integration with each mapping platform in various languages along with the dependencies lists and wiki where you will find all the resources related to the program. TollGuru API bridges the gap in all mapping platforms. Whether a daily commuter or an enterprise owner, TollGuru API allows all the users to take full control while selecting the routes for their trip. We at TollGuru believe in transforming mapping into a practical decision-making tool, bringing transparency to travel, and making an impact on the millions of drivers who keep our world moving. 
Make a smart decision. Toll Guru API. We hope this video helped you with the integration process. Let us know your doubts or your requirements to see more technical videos like this in languages other than Python in the comments section below. And don't forget to like, share and subscribe to see similar videos in the future. Visit our website or try our services today.